cute. Okay, wait. I'm missing this. Get over here. Get over here. Only the best setup for you, girly. Oh, only the best setup for you. Give me a sec. Welcome or welcome back to my vlog. And um, before we begin, before we get into top 10 habits for back to school and things that I personally recommend for you kind of to get into the hang of before back to school. And these are 10 habits that are going to be super helpful and set you off on the right foot for the start of the school year, which of course is what we want because we're having a good school year this year. Yeah, that's right. You, you're gonna have one bestie. Also, before we begin, let me just say I had my hair like this because I wanted to show you guys I this is my favorite part I take it out of braids and I had these in for a day so you know it's gonna be good grand reveal together okay oh it's so pretty of course since I had them in for a day that means my bangs are now stale all right all right girly pop all right oh all right so okay anyways today we have top 10 habits I recommend you get into before the beginning of the school year and these are going to help you in ways you cannot perceive actually yeah probably in ways you can perceive but you know they're going to be really helpful habits and things again that I recommend you do this is just going to help you have a very smooth transition into the brand new school year and make sure you start off on the right foot we're good. So without any further ado, let's get into the video then. Let's go. I'm the only one stalling here. You know what? Let's not get into the bit. No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna get into it. Let's go. I don't have like that camera cover. So I just put the sticker there. My front, my front sticker is like that cute strawberry. So I feel like a little accountant in it. All right, um, yeah, where did I put this? Okay, so the first thing and probably the most important one for you. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Anyways, so the first thing, fix your sleep schedule, okay? Now you either start school, even if you've already started school, but this is a big one, bestie. You wanna make sure that you are getting enough sleep. First of all, it helps keep your skin looking glowing, healthy, youthful okay second of all it will give you the energy you need and make you more like upbeat you know like everything good comes with sleep all right and who doesn't love to sleep and be unconscious for eight hours a day who doesn't love that also when i say this i don't necessarily mean eight hours specifically because what i've learned from experience some people will need less than the eight hours some people will need more and it kind of just depends on how much sleep you need as an individual because i know some people that need like four hours of sleep. I'm not even kidding. There are some people like that. I am so jealous of them. But me personally, I need like 10 hours of sleep to go through a whole day without feeling tired. So I love that for me. I really do. But again, make sure you are going to bed and just fixing your sleep schedule. I know I'm being a hypocrite saying this because I'm going to bed at like midnight right now, but I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it now. We can fix it together, right? Yes, we're going to fix it together. But you know, try to go to bed at a reasonable time at least and you can take this slowly especially if you have time before the school year officially begins but again this is a big one just to make sure you're looking and feeling your best throughout the school day so again I super recommend getting enough sleep and fixing that up all right all right good glad we're on the same page I believe in you okay I know it's just go to bed one minute earlier every day and in 365 days you will be about like three hours earlier so yes I know great advice great advice I wake up with a full face of makeup done every single day also, I recommend a custom ringtone because that makes it so much more fun to wake up. I have mine as a song that I like. Don't recommend using a song that you like because you will not like it when you wake up to it. But yeah, I made a little custom ringtone so it's more fun. Tip number two and habit number two is limit your screen time. Limit your screen time, bestie. I know this is another really, really hard one, but by limiting your screen time, just make sure you're staying productive on your phone. Maybe you have been procrastinating like things that you wanna learn while summer is still going, like, you know, learn those and instead of being on your phone. But again, this is another like habit that will slowly build up. So limit screen time.
screen time, you could use screen time settings. Sometimes I do that, but I just override them anyway, let's be honest. So there's like apps out there to help you more like focus and stay focused on that. I could make a video on those as well, but I personally use Forest, which I will talk about later on. Not sponsored, girly, but this is such a good app. I am just saying like, even though it's not sponsored, this is such a good app. I use Forest all the time. I'll set like a time, like one hour edit videos, like, and then I actually edit videos for one hour because I don't want my trees to die. I want them to live. But I really recommend that app. And again, just staying mindful of your screen time. What is my screen time? Okay, yeah, I am being a bit of a hypocrite saying this. This was my last week's average, girl. I'm not even lying. Okay, can you focus? eight hours i'm not even lying like but wednesday this was wednesday this is how long i was on my phone wednesday so i'm gonna try to fix that myself but again being mindful on your phone and making sure you're using it for like you know youtube or like give yourself limits to do that i have swapped to youtube shorts okay like tiktok i i get pretty addicted pretty easily like i'll i'll go for hours on hours on hours but youtube shorts i'll go for like 30 minutes max okay like it's a few years behind tiktok to say the least Tip number three, organize your space and declutter your life. This is especially important. Okay, wait, this whole video is me. Okay, I know I need to clean my room. Okay, girly, like I'm not even lying. <laughs> girly, I need to clean my room. I'm not even lying. Like this is the cleanest part of my room right now. I just make it look clean for camera. But like, honestly, I feel so much better and so much more focused and refreshed when my space is clean and my room, you know, like just even if you don't, you have a lot of things and not the space to put them. I recommend I use like file folders. I just put everything in those. I put everything in like little baskets around my room and hide those. Then that could definitely free up space in your living area and also thus free up space in your mind. So I really recommend this. Again, it just helps me stay focused and on track. No distractions. I'm like, oh, a candle, let me light it. Oh, oh, la, la, la. Like no distractions, okay? Okay. Tip number four four is time management. Now in this category, I specifically want to say focus on time management. Like, you know, look at your classes beforehand. So for example, if you're taking two AP classes, know that you're probably going to need to study a bit more for those. So try to like block out your time for those ahead of time and be like, okay, when school starts, I'm going to take the first hour after school and just kind of focus on that and homework, just teaching myself the curriculum and then take a snack, you know, just have some time management also, I recommend getting a planner. I have tried so many time management things. Like if you want a video on that, I could do it. I could make like a one hour video on all the different things I've tried. I, I don't know, but following a plan is not necessarily easily. So again, taking this a step at a time. What I have been using recently is actually away from a physical planner. I will still use that for like personal or like base ideas. But what I like is Notion. Actually, again, not sponsored, but I have seen a lot of besties use this so i'm like you know what i want to make it cute i want to look how cute i made it i spent two hours on making my notion cute it is so cute like i love to look at it and down here i have a calendar and i can literally if i forget to do something on my plan i don't have to stress about it i don't have to exit out and rewrite it taking up space in my physical planner i could just click hold and drag to the next day so that is something that works for me and i personally recommend but again try some tactics i have tip number five is literally just stay hydrated have a water bottle okay what i recommend personally is have a water bottle near you at all times like i see my water bottle right now let me show you how close it is let me just it's right here i have a water bottle on me at all times it is empty right now which is bad but have it full and near you at all times if you are someone that struggles with staying hydrated. Also get one you like and customize it. Like, ah, I love it, it's so cute. And I have fun putting stickers on it. Like my man here, look at him, so beautiful. But again, having it near me at all times, even if I'm bored, instead of like, you know, oh, I need to go get water. Like that's gonna take an hour in the kitchen. Like I could just have it here and like sip when I am bored. So I recommend that. And also setting a goal. Mine is literally just this much water a day, if not more but I do have that goal. I also sometimes put a little bit of the specific special salt in it. It's like sea salt, but it's Celtic sea salt, I think. And that helps with minerals in your water, which I recommend. But again, I could do something more in depth in a glow up series. Next tip number six. 
music playlist, okay? If you are someone that listens to music, or even if you're not, I recommend creating a YouTube playlist of just general songs. If you're not someone that likes specific songs, you could search like study with me, music playlist, and then add that to your own playlist or go off of someone else's pre-made playlist or create a back to school kind of theme. You know, it's just so fun to create a back to school music playlist. And this could help you stay motivated and excited for back to school. Also, you could have a playlist for walking in the halls, you know, your headphones on, you could have your cute little white playlist or you could have a playlist for like, like studying some like more personally when I study I can't listen to music with lyrics so I'll put on something like lo-fi lo-fi study girl yes bestie I am on that live stream sometimes very lovely but you know just create yourself playlists with themes and like back home from school just help you rom romanticize school before it even begins so I definitely recommend that Oh, I must have messed up the order somewhere. And this one, again, I'm going to recommend this app again, just because, okay, so study smarter. Study smarter, basically what I mean is find ways that you like to study, whether this be like Quizlet, post-it notes, note cards. I personally recommend, if you have not tried this, do it. It is life-changing and it helps me romanticize studying so much. I find a cute study with me. By the way, I will be doing those this year and I have some on my channel right now. So if you want to check it out definitely do and basically you put it on and you could search anything like study with me 15 minute break study with me no break study with me for three hours no break and there is something you put this video on in the background and you literally study with someone else and it is just so nice it's like you have a friend to study with so I definitely recommend this and it helps me focus and have way less distractions just because most of these usually have a timer so again I really recommend that or like timing yourself personally I don't don't set I set a time limit goal but not a goal of how much I need to study if that makes sense like how much curriculum I need to study I will sit down and be like I'm studying for an hour doesn't matter how far I get if I get to chapter two if I get to chapter seven no matter just studying for an hour that has helped me so find ways that you like to study if you like to say I'm studying only chapter one for 30 minutes do that or like I'm studying until I finish chapter one it really depends to you but again I recommend that another second tip in this tip forest app I'm saying this again not sponsored all right girly but it's so good let me let me just show you like this has helped me so much I've studied like five hours with this it makes me feel so much more productive but there's different things that you could do with it and you plant a tree oh my gosh my hands shake oh I did not mean to start that because if you start it and don't finish it your tree dies so I don't want that anyways you could change the time and it will literally plant trees it will plant virtual trees and then you could buy different trees have your little garden like oh I love it and also a good thing about this it will block out certain apps that you allow it to block out or if you don't want it to block out apps and it won't but if you look on TikTok and you get distracted on your phone it'll say oh your tree's dead <laughs> loser so that really motivates me to study clutter your phone or old school app now now, personally if you are going from middle school to high school high school to college anything like that there are usually a lot of different apps that your high school middle school whatever school requires so I would definitely look into it and clean out any other apps so if your school is using canvas blackboard la 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 Google classroom you know download those just prepare yourself a nice little folder that you'll like to look through also get rid of any like space consuming things on your phone that you don't need I personally need to do this my phone is so messy I'm not even gonna lie what is this I have a full page just of widgets because I didn't know what to do with that and then like I just put all of them in there and there's like 50 50 apps in there like I need to go through and clean it my phone is a mess some of them are like the cute little shortcuts and some of them aren't but again take away any unnecessary apps or things that are taking up space offloaded apps that you might not play I definitely recommend that. Full back to school, bestie, is declutter your email. Okay, I was one of the people, and probably still am, that have like 5,000 emails that are like spammed by school. Especially if you're in high school, you will get so many college emails your like last two years. So definitely look into that. Look at your email when you get them this year, okay? Do not ignore them. There are some great opportunities that your school will send you in your email, even if you're like, oh, it's just spam. 
I was like, oh, it's just spam and I missed out on so much. So definitely look at your email. There's field trips in there, sometimes daily announcements. My school would do that. Free gift cards, literally free gift cards. I'm not kidding. That are not clickbait from actual college board. So definitely look into that and declutter your Gmail. This will again, just help you stay productive and on track. And I would take even just like three or five minutes a day when school starts for you. But look through the emails and email any teachers back, you know, take care of all that, but don't let it get out of hand because I know how easily out of hand that could get and it's very overwhelming and you never want to look at your email again so start fresh. The last tip in this back to school habits video is tip 10 which is plan ahead for back to school. This means just make sure you have all your things in order so the last minute last day you're not rushing. I recommend if you want a cute outfit before back to school plan that ahead. Just know where everything is. This also makes sure that you minimize any like unneeded stress like oh I forgot a notebook I forgot a pencil on the first day. So make sure that you prepare your backpack and everything is in order and you know where everything is that you need. So I definitely recommend, even if that just means putting like one notebook and one pencil in your backpack for the first day, make sure you don't forget that. Or if you have a Chromebook, make sure you bring it so you don't have any unneeded stress, especially during that first week of school. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope these habits helped you. These are just the top 10 as I've said before, and um, this girly, I love my dress. I bought it on vacation. I know, thank you, thank you. Like, look at the sleeves. But anyways, thank you for the compliment on my outfit. I love yours too. I love yours too. You're looking gorgeous today, Miss Bestie. I love to see you here. And I hope you have a great back to school year because we are starting strong and fresh. So as always, stay tuned as I do post vlogs and I hope you enjoyed. Bye bye. I don't know how to end this. Like, what was that? <laughs> okay. Anyways, I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder. Bye-bye. <laughs>